to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. Join our various gaming groups as we play the 5th Edition of Dungeons & Dragons. And maybe just hang out and chat about gaming in general. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. So unfortunately, Chris can't join us, but obviously one of these bandits as they died screamed out, It's the Dread Pirate! Boom Boom Howler! (laughs) And of course, you know, he did the whole Dread Dread Pirate uh, Porthos thing and said, See, they they know me, and he had to run. You mean the one (laughs) from the remake of The Three Musketeers? The one from the Disney Three Musketeers. (laughs) Can y'all hear me? Hey, we can hear you! Okay. Um, of course, my computer shut off as I was trying to fix it. Okay, I'm back, guys. I'm ready, I think. <laughs> Are you sure? 100% not, but you know what? That's what we're doing. If that was ready, then, then something would be wrong with the world. Okay. Everybody got quiet. Did I lose y'all? No. We purposely got <laughs> quiet to make you nervous. Okay. Because I was, it was like, a oh, block. I'm going to touch the screen. Yeah, we're like, hey, giggle, giggle, let's pretend we're not here. <laughs> right. The computer goblins have gotten her. <laughs> Ugh. I'm a struggle bus. Okay. All right. Gremlins are out in force. <laughs> After all, in Iron Kingdoms, they do have gremlins. Beware the gremlins. There is, it's an um, older film, like 80s, uh, uh, Cthulhu-esque, you know, film noir uh, called Cast a Deadly Spell. I don't know. It has Fred Ward in it. Um, it's a great movie. It's, it is. It's a great movie. <laughs> yeah, they have gremlins they brought over uh, from World War II. <laughs> Ever um, since the so war, we can't get it, it's, it's great. So it's like, it's like the <laughs> The gremlins keep like taking part people's cars. <laughs> oh, nice! Guys, it, it, the hood of this old classic, and there they are. Yeah, they did an amazing job of this alternate, you know, uh, line kind of thing with where magic is real, and but they did a re- amazing job on it. Um, it's mm-hmm. called Cast a Deadly Spell. And if you haven't seen it, I recommend it. And I think you can actually watch it in full on YouTube. I don't know if it's playing on any services. But, uh, yeah, it's a really good movie. It's, yeah, I think it was like, was was it an HBO movie that, yeah, originally I think it was an HBO movie. I think it was, yeah, an HBO movie. You know, it was back in the day when it was, uh huh. But it's, it's actually, (laughs) I very much enjoy it. <laughs> nice. And I if you're a friend of a fan of Dresden Files, you will totally dig it. Exactly. I love the Dresden Files. I Sorry, that was a delayed head. reaction there, guys. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Who can just say I love the Dresden Files and not say more afterwards? I mean, come on. Now, I, I, mean, I, I love the books. And I very much enjoyed the TV show, even though it was only like six episodes. I, yeah, I, ho- I, w- I really wish it would have had continued, um, even though it was dramatically different from the books. It was, it was nice. It was a lot of, a lot of fun. I like the Alex Ferris series too. 
if y'all like that and you want another long series, his is good. Which, which series? Alex Ferris by Benedict Jacka. Um, he's it's with the same kind of Wizarding World kind of thing, but the difference is instead of being like kind of like a a fire mage, which is kind of like what I I consider Harry to default to. This oh, person yeah. is a diviner. <laughs> this guy defaults to what? He's he's a diviner, so he can see and mm. you know see the future and all the different ways that it happens. Does that make sense? So yeah. he can. That's He's trouble powerful, waiting to happen. Also, yeah, it's really good. I I highly recommend. I'm only like on book five or six, but it's good. which service is it on? Um, I get it through Audible. Oh, um, it's books. Oh, I thought yeah. I thought it was uh, converted to, uh, like the Dresden Files was converted oh, like a no. TV show. I thought you were. No, I haven't found any cool TV shows like that. Yeah. yeah so in case you're which... listening, HBO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently Witch yeah. Hunt is a sequel, 94 sequel to uh, Cast a Diddly Spell. Hold it, what is Witch what? Hunt? Witch Hunt. Really? Oh. Yeah. Does it have Fred Ward in it as well? Um, fantasy detective television film directed by Paul Schrader, starring Dennis Hopper and Eric Borgesain. I think I've uh, seen Witch Hunt. The film written by Joseph Doherty is a sequel to the 1991 film cast by D- Cast a Deadly Spell. With oh, yeah, see, I was thinking late 80s, but Phillips. yeah, early 90s. Okay, cool. Witch Hunt. Yes. So there you go. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> something to go look for yeah <laughs> yeah i'm googling the pictures and the first thing i came up was like um he kind of looks like a private eye and he's lighting a match for some a, a creature smoking a cigarette i don't know what this creature is maybe a werewolf hmm. interesting that made me giggle oh i see the one you're talking about yeah Interesting. All right, we'll have to look that up afterwards. Oh yeah, that's the the noir poster. All right, let's see. Do, 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 do. All those are down, and we got a steam jack to take so down. So last we left off, y'all were kicking in the door of the warehouse. Mia ran way inside the the, the warehouse. Yep, How I was, I was I was kind of scared when I looked back. I was like, why am I so? Cal is taking up cover raised and in bold <laughs> apparently <laughs> and then all of a sudden one of the bandits lets out a shot going is that the dread pirate gargosh boom howler and and Chris's character boom howler your your troll kin fell collar looks around and says oh yes I gotta go and he basically is running <laughs> off because he couldn't make it today so his character is obviously running off to hide his identity as a pirate because, remember, they still hang pirates at this port. Exactly. It's the one thing you can't talk your corrupt guards into letting happen. So he's protecting his pirate identity and uh, possibly giving you all information to hold over him in the future. Not that you guys would do that. Well, no. Like, just go with the flow. Let the current you, take you. And you totally took out all these cutthroats and even nicely and lined yep. up their corpses outside as you dropped them one after another. And uh, then you notice that there's some tiny little voice in here yelling orders and you saw this big old steam jack that was pulling this wagon turn around and he's going to be... Uh, you, you, there's no uncertain terms. He's doing the bull charge and he's rushing towards this door here. His job was to make an exit and not yep. where the uh, gunboats to the north here are shooting bullets through the walls of this building. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, the coppers. And, and I will totally warn you guys ahead of time, if anybody crosses like this point, like the halfway point into the warehouse, there will be the occasional deck save to avoid random bullets flying through the walls. Oh, nice. 
There's a Where reason guys... why I'm still out this way. <laughs> Where you guys are is fairly safe right now. The bullets are going into boxes and barrels and carts and the ceiling and things. But you you definitely see the ricochets closer to the, this side of the warehouse that they could be a problem. Yeah, because, yeah. you know, I only have six hit points total. <laughs> Look at how scared you are at level one of a single pistol. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's well, uh, all right. So I'm only seven and nine, so. And, of course, it doesn't help that the watch have a rowboat with a Gatling gun on it. Is the steam, uh, the steam jack coming towards us, or is she trying to make a hole at them to get out the front? Uh, the no, steam jack will you. be running right oh, towards okay. you. Like, Mia, you are right in its path. Fantastic. You guys barely heard an audible squeak sound as somebody said, Make an opening, Jack! And this, this steam jack totally turned around and he's doing that bull charge where he's, you know, getting traction to start running as soon as it's his turn. As soon as it's his turn is a good th- time to say everybody should roll initiative! Oh, okay. And remember, click on your icon. You have to click on our tokens uh, before we do it in this. Yeah, okay. Yep. All right. Because it's not Star Wars or Genesis. Hold on. I got to remember where Getty is. My icons are gigantic. I don't know why they're like that today. That's okay. If your uh, icons on the bottom of the map are big, you can go click the gear. And go to audio, video, and close your your icons to just small or names. I have you all down as just names today because it's easier. Oh, fantastic! That's I looked earlier and I couldn't find it. Oh, fantastic! Now I can see screens. Fantastic! Oh, gutty. All right, it's okay. (laughs) (laughs) Gunny's like, I'm gonna do something. Would I want to do something? (laughs) <laughs> I mean, remember, poor Gunny clapped out last time. I mean, he rolled that natural one and just had to take a little little break. Yeah. He's like, sorry, boss. I, I need to take a rest break. Union laws. Yeah, well, he did take, like, I don't know, 10 points of damage so far. So <laughs> he's on his second line. Oh, apparently I did not clear the initiative order, so I'm going to have to do it now. Alice has a 22. Lexa has a 20. Leo's got a 17. Gunny's got a 4. We don't judge. That's good. I, I do. I did learn my bonus actions. I can. I can tell him stuff now, guys. Hey. Nice. <laughs> You've now made him 50% more combat effective. Yes. As he's like. Look at how much damage I've incurred. Oh, poor guy. I'll fix you later, buddy. <laughs> and uh, not that it's going to do anything right now, but let's roll. Uh, let's get an extra little something rolled on the map so I just know. <laughs> what are we rolling? Me oh, rolling oh that's, that's me rolling a little secret oh. something. Some little nefarious something. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, okay. But I just need it, so I got it on the map there. Right. Ooh, I like how Can it's all... Can you wonder why this guy by the Steve Jack is green? I can't see him very well, but he's green, right? Who? The, the little dude next to... Oh, hold on. The, the... We can't see the guy because he's like over here somewhere. I don't know what you're talking about over here. I'm, I'm talking this about guy anything. right here. Yeah, yeah, what is that? yeah, I just noticed that. But... Oh, uh, he's hiding <laughs> under the desk. Uh... <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. There's no little guy over there. There's oh. just a squeaky <laughs> voice that you hear giving the Steam Jack orders. Okay. Ducking from bullets. 
so you guys clearly have gotten into the hideout. You know, you 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 hear that the watch is doing their job. They're gunning down these thieves at the you know north of the building, which is why you kind of want to not cross the Mason Dixon line in the middle of the building here. You can. It's it's not difficult. It's just I'll ask for deck save at the beginning of each roll. The stray bullets go flying around. What's the worst that happens? <laughs> it's only a stray ricochet. It's not a real bullet. I mean, that's only like yeah. the percent of a bullet. Right. <laughs> so, Callus, this steam jack is going to barrel straight through this wagon yeah. and come run in this direction. Mia is standing right there in the danger zone. As I could totally see your character doing the head gesture. Get behind cover. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's her? What's what's movement on here? Uh, should be thirty for your character. Five foot squares. Five foot squares. Okay, making sure. You could totally go into the danger zone. And uh, just to give you guys a heads up, the shadowy area that you see on the map, that's the, there's a walkway above you guys. Uh, oh, so this. For more uh, storage. The, the shadows, basically. extra dark rays are above us. Yep. Yeah. Okay. There's a walkway above you where, of course, they store more shit. And uh, you might be hearing either ricocheted bullets or timbers moving. Above us? Ab- above you. It's probably just these ricochet bullets ricocheting and shooting and bouncing off. Yeah, it couldn't possibly be people. <laughs> it couldn't be I'm people so that have succeeded on here, stealth guys. rolls. <laughs> <laughs> so glad. <laughs> I'm going to move around to there. More cover behind the wagon? Uh, y'all. Yeah. And the palace is rushing in a little deeper into the warehouse, grabbing cover behind the thick the wagon with his carbine. Yeah. So he's only thirty five feet away from the the very large steam jack. Yeah. That sends out this almost metallic minotaur noise. So we are going to do um, it also makes me wonder that wagon is difficult terrain. Oh, oh yeah, you definitely think he'll run Mia over on his turn. All right, so we're going to do a uh, pinning trickshot. Yeah. Or at least you're going to attempt. I am. You're going to ricochet a shot and try to hamstring him from that angle? Not a ricochet. It's a, it's a line. I'm at the corner of the cart. Yeah, he can. going to shoot it in its kneecap. Okay, so take your tricky, tricky trick shot. All right, here we go. And... Oh! Uh, You didn't use advantage, I take it? (laughs) Why would he have advantage? He's just taking a normal shot as he licks his thumb and licks the front sight of his carbine and takes the click. And you God, just, these characters, I swear, are cursed. And you just hear this. I mean, it was still a nine. <laughs> it's a but one. It was a natural I one. Know. <laughs> as, as you fire and the cartridge just fizzles. Oh. And uh, you, you need to reload that weapon, buddy. Yeah. As says, you must have gotten some bad ammunition. Obviously, you were given that ammo as, as payment for something. <laughs> and uh, they did the old Russian trick of boiling their bullets and then selling them to the locals. Oh. Not that the watch would ever sell ammo to criminals that they boiled first to make it inoperable. 
Okay, so uh, Callus had a great plan, but then the dice betrayed him. Okay. You mean the dice were callous? <laughs> they were callous. Is there anything for your bonus action you'd like to do? Um. I don't know. Um. I'd rather <laughs> just, you know, make sure I'm behind the majority of the wagon there. <laughs> You're taking cover as ricochets are zooming by. Okay, Mia, you're out in the open. That big steam jack that's twice the size of Gunny, he is about a good 40 feet away. He looks like he's going to run through that cart and come right your direction. He, by the way, does not sport a spear and cool shield like the mini does. Okay. Well, Just to make you feel a little yeah. better, he is barehanded, but you know what a steam jack can do barehanded. Okay, I'm going to move my little self over here. Okay. <laughs> um, but that's as far as I'm going, because I'm not going to cross this line up here. Okay, and, you're not uh, crossing where the ricochets will be a mortal danger to you. You're just shy. Since, he, since he's he's pretty tall, I could, I could possibly... I can see him over the wagon in front yep, of him, Yep, right? you can clearly see him, and he's he's doing this hand motion to gesture. He's going to get ready to start running. He's, he's winding up his running mode. Okay, I am going to hold on. My spell thing just closed. Oh, I'm going to shoot a spell at him, and it's going to be chill touch because I can't remember my stuff for Arcane Bolt. Um, okay. So I'm going to try. I'm going to try chill touch at him. Okay. And just to remind everybody, what does your chill touch? Oh no, look like? I don't want to do chill touch. I lied because they're immune to necrotic damage. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I would know that. You would know that as a steam jack operator. I would know that. So I am going to do our. I'm going to do arcane bolt. But I don't remember what all it does, so I'm going to click the spell and hope for goodness sakes it works. Did it work? Nope, 100% not. Okay. Do you have it? Are you clicking? Are you it's clicking not on my it? spell list. It's because no, her GM failed her and did not and add it to the spell list yet. Let me get it for you real quick. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm have... sorry, guys. Oh, no, good. that's you... totally, totally my bad. Yeah, you need it under your attacks and spellcasting. Because it's a uh, Iron Kingdom spell, not a uh, regular D&D spell, so it didn't translate. Yeah, because I looked at D&D, and it only gives four hip, hit damage points, and I was like, I wouldn't have picked that. I don't know what that is. <laughs> and it's Arcane Bolt? Arcane Bolt, yes. Through the power of search engines on the PDF of the book. Our the only thing oh. I can do spell wise is I can hide it, which that's not going to help, or I can make it start working. That's not going to help either. PDF is apparently so high res it found the three instances of arcane bolt, but it's not going to the page I'm looking for. Here we go. So it is a cantrip, one action, 60 put, foot. It is a verbal, somatic, and rain, a ritual attack. So when she does it, she has really cool runic symbols glow around her hand when she fires the spell off. And uh, you will go ahead and make a ranged spell attack. So d20 plus your spell modifier. Okay. And I will totally add that in there as I'm putting that on my game notes. If I need to add your spell. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, please be good. And what is your spell modifier? Oh. It should be your proficiency plus some, plus some stat. Five. It's five. five. 
So you rolled a solid 12. A deadly 12, right? A solid 12. As it just kind of hits him and bathes past his armor, his rust engrossed armor, and you just see the armor kind of absorb the magic. Okay. As you realize, damn it, why doesn't Gunny have armor like that? That would have hit okay. Gunny. Steal it. Um, I, for my bonus action, can I cast True Strike? Uh, can I marshal Gunny and cast True Strike? And what does that do? That gives him advantage on his next turn for an attack roll. I'm going to put a blue dot on him so you know. <laughs> As you're like, Gunny, get him! And uh, Theo... You're outside. There's some bodies. You just saw your broken <laughs> friend run away saying, I'll be back! <laughs> this, is, this is your time to shine. <laughs> okay. So, um, let's see here. So I can go one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so I can get to here. Mm-hmm. That's a good safe okay. place. Especially when you're seeing bullet holes coming through the wall. Now, for my incent, hold on. Let me double check the range. What's the range of my explosive grenade for throwing? Well, you are about 55 feet from him. If that and on your range, it should be a number slash number. The second number is with... Uh... Um, let's see here. Six... Range that can't be. Uh, it's a self sixty foot cone. I don't think that that's correct. Which grenade are you looking at? I'm looking at my explosive grenade. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Ignore that self sixty foot cone. Let me double check real quick for you. I searched for grenade and I got a bazillion choices come up. 60 foot would be good. No, 60 foot cone is not not your range. No, I'm just saying 60 foot would be good. Because you're at the 55 foot mark there. I think you should just run up and and slap it. Well, I can only run so far. (laughs) (laughs) You want me to have Gunny throw you? You can Superman fly. Jeez. Just jump on the back of Gunny and ride him into combat. (laughs) She lands and dies from just the impact. Let's see. Worth it. (laughs) Although I think our healer left, so. (laughs) Maybe not. You might want to let Gunny take all the damage. It's just my suggestion. Yeah. Oh, nice! He's so expensive to fix! <laughs> so, grenades. Here we go. Grenades are ranges 20 or 60. Ah! And okay. it's AOE 5. So, 20 foot is your straight roll, and uh, 60 foot is with disadvantage. Because you're doing the Hail Mary Chuck. It yeah, all you got. and it can get up to two creatures within five feet. Going for this side. <laughs> what? You don't know anything about that. We heard voices. Okay, hold on. I'm updating my well, sheet. Well, she might so. not have, but... Okay. So, so we know today Theo is going to throw way better than yesterday. Or, you know, earlier out <laughs> in the uh, fight here. So it it is a long throw, but you think you can make it. You got this. Well, I'm going to take my inspiration. I de-clicked my inspiration, so so I'm going to use advantage. Okay, so basically it's a straight roll then. Mm -hmm. (coughs) All right, so should be able to 
you got this. And wh which square are you aiming for, by the way? I'm aiming for... It is a large creature, so so right there. Okay, gotcha. So... Wow. Eleven's probably not gonna... As you chuck your grenade, and uh, it, it bounces off this barrel and lands kind of at this guy's feet, the, the explosive grenade blows up, blowing up, you know, shrapnel everywhere. The, the wagon is blown partially to bits. And uh, it seems to you, you hear lots of ting, ting, tings off of it, but it does not seem adversely affected by the explosive. Damn. Sorry, guys. But the, the showering wood splinters is impressive as shit. Do we hear any eeps? There, there, there is no if, eeps because they're hiding Damn. successfully. So quick you know question. What? I forgot. I had martial society. I can re-roll that one. Yeah, <laughs> I was totally waiting for it. I forgot. <laughs> I should have reminded you too. I'm sorry because I'm, I'm the same. So, quick question: yeah. What is Gunny's Dex bonus, if any? Uh, Dex bonus? Uh huh. Oh, that's a big zero, sir. He's he's not very dexy. So it's a zero. Uh huh. Okay, so I just I was just wondering which one of these guys go first, since they both tied with fours. Interesting that they both have the same initiative. Right. So uh, this guy is totally doing what uh, he was told to do, and he's making a hole. And as the explosion happens, you just see this steam jack just running through the explosion, all anime mechanical style. As uh, he is stomping over this wagon, he kind of goes up the open ramp of the wagon and just destroys whatever was left that the grenade did not blow up. It is difficult terrain, so it seems to slow him up a bit so he gets to about right here and he just crunches down like runners do when they they basically are doubling down on the movement and he is doubling down to continue running and makes it to wow right there he is right oh, in the no. face of theo running oh. at full speed okay. So, what kind of character should I roll up next, guys? <laughs> As he's basically putting everything he's got into rolling, his action and his movement, he dashed, <laughs> and he is it running nice full deal. speed, and he's like, that split second where he has stopped, like in a anime where you see the freeze frame, and he stopped running, and she's right there going, go. <laughs> As uh, it is Gunny's turn to be her hero. Okay, uh, Gunny is going to slam. He's going to move forward, move around her, and then slam slam into this uh, monster bot. Aw, Gunny's going to be your hero. That's right. <laughs> and second, I'll hit the right button. Uh, and uh, he does have advantage because you basically commanded yes! him to Gunny, do it. Does a 17 hit this monster? And a 17 hits the guy. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. And then remind me, I just clicked the slam button to make it. Yep. Roll if you just damage. click slam, it'll roll the damage for you. So he oh, does. He comes sure up and he, he, he puts both his fingers together and just <laughs> hits it for six points of damage. It, it clocks it, but it doesn't, you know, kill it. Okay. As he hits it and kind of slows its momentum down, and now it's got a actual roadblock in front of it instead of Theo. Theo was a speed bump. Gunny, Gunny's <laughs> yeah. a roadblock. Okay. Um, he's he's gonna he's gonna stay. <laughs> okay. And uh, does anyone have a <laughs> passive perception higher than twelve? Uh, my uh, passive is 16. Oh, shit. My yeah, passive buddy. is... Just, where is oh. it? Nope. Then my Hold on, I was Hold on. Uh, mine is... Yeah. Oh, Gunny's is going to be crap. Yeah, I was like, mine's only 10. Oh, no, mine's only 11. So while Callus yeah, is, is slapping his rifle for the bad cartridge, and he's going to have to reload, and he's like, God damn it, God damn it, God damn it. And uh, he looks at uh, Gunny stop this big behemoth on its way out the exit. He kind of notices in the rafters over here, you see some dust 
fall through the open rafters and the lamplight that's hanging there kind of wiggles. Like, definitely telling you someone's up in the rafters there. Okay. And over here. <laughs> and oh. you hear a squeaky voice over here that you're now aware of that's saying, Get us an opening out of here, Jack! Because, uh, you know, your passive perception is better than their collective stealth roll. Yep. But it is top of the order. Would you like to use your action to reload your weapon? Or do you have something else tricky in store? I wish. Um, yeah, I don't have no, uh, like, quick reload or nothing. So, um, yeah, I'm assuming it's a full action. Uh, yep, it reload. is an action to reload. And you do know that, by the way, there's a goblin right there hiding in the stairwell. Feel free to um, holler out what you see. <laughs> so I can try to kill this. <laughs> and and by the way, they are hiding, so they're out of sight. It's just that he's aware of them. They're not, like, engaging you guys right now. They are totally hiding, trying not to get shot from the volley of gunfire. Right. Okay. Alright. So they're not doing so, yeah, anything so, yet. Yeah. So, yeah, we, we reload our mag, and... Uh, I uh flick that cartridge out, out and curse it. And then call out the tangos. Okay, anything for your movement or bonus action? I mean the big guy is out of the way. Uh he is, but um You like your nice safe position undercover there? Not a lot I can do, and just putting myself as a target doesn't help anything. <laughs> So, Looking like a survivalist. I'll, uh, I'm a sniper type, so <laughs> I mean, I'll get it and mix it up, but doesn't do anyone good to rifle. leave yourself out as a target. So, but yeah, so I'm hollering at, uh, yeah, it's like, hey, Tango's, two Tango's up behind you, left and right, and he gives the uh, subtle hand gestures and words, and controller by the door to the left. Okay, so it is Mia's turn. You you are proud of Gunny as he just like scrapped with this guy. We got bot wars happening here. And Theo scared okay. shit in between them. I'm going to do something stupid, but here we go. All right. I like this plan already. I'm going to move. If I can't, if I move, hold on, before I move my guy, well, whatever. If I move like here-ish, do I have a good side of light aside to hit the noise of the shot caller I heard over here. Um, I know if I kill this, the bottle stop. You know they're there because your buddy said so, but you do not see them. They are actually hiding from you. Their their stealth roll is higher than your passive perception. So you kind of, if you move there, you peek, you don't see them, you would have to do a perception to spot them. Okay, does that count as my action? That would count as your action, yeah. Can I just blindly throw a spell in this general area? You can blindly throw a spell, but if it's a spell that requires you to have a target, you can't, because you have to see the target to cast the spell. If you wanted to just shoot okay. blindly into the darkness, you can, but it's it's very difficult. Nope, I'm going to just move here then, and I am going to cast another arcade bolt against the bot. Against the because big steam the jack. Thing I can see. Yeah. And he's going to tear Gunny a new one. I mean, you, know, you don't want Gunny to be going toe to toe with this guy. Do you know how long you have to repair him? Ugh. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm going to roll my d20 now. Hold on. Yep. And then so add it's d20 plus your spell, your spell attack modifier. Yeah, you know, I have any other good spells. Uh, I have I have Razor Wind, but that's it. I can't do anything against him because he's immune to necrotic, and that's a lot of what my stuff is because uh, I didn't know it to pick my spells. Cause I'm, I'm really because we're only level one. She so doesn't yeah. believe in Jack on Jack violence, man. She she's so right. like killing flesh and blood people. Oh my god! No, I reroll! I reroll! I reroll! <laughs> Are you using your martial awareness? I have guns with under. Both okay. of our IOC and L's have rolled ones. <laughs> Ooh. 22 will definitely hit him. Go ahead and give me a D10 of force damage. Yeah, there's been a lot of ones showing up. Yeah, this Ooh. game is plagued with them. <laughs> okay. And 
and then for my bonus action, I'm going to Marshall Gunny again, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to tell him to strike true, so he okay. gets advantage. So, so Gunny is... Because we're, we're struggling. <laughs> you're like, Gunny, put him down! Okay, so he takes four damage of force behind him as you, you king and dent his armor up, and you're just like, oh, I really want that armor. I want that armor for my boy. I know. Oh. And uh, Theo, what are you going to do? Okay. Oh, uh, can, can I say one more thing before my turn's over? I don't know if sure. this will help or not. Can I yell out? I know you're here, you coward. Come out. Ooh. And like, try to antagonize her to come out instead of just using her bot. I would have said it way more rude, though. Let's try to keep it PG. <laughs> Ooh, look at you trying to antagonize them to come after you. I like that. Try it. It's crazy. I like it. Okay, Sorry. So Go. Kill, what's kill everyone. What's Theo going to do? <laughs> okay, well, first off... um. I'm going to move over here out of its way. <laughs> you scamper over the thing <laughs> and take cover. That's a good choice. Okay. So now if I put one here, it would not hit Gunny, but it'll hit him. It, it is large enough that you could drop a grenade on its backside and not catch Gunny in the area effect. Yeah, okay. Because it is then a large that's what size I'm gonna do. steam jack. Whereas poor Gunny is just medium size. Yeah. And this time it's within 20 feet, so I'm not going to have disadvantage. Straight roll, yep. Okay, here we go. And uh, which grenade are you using? Another explosive? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Very nice. 23 nice. will definitely drop the grenade right over this little cart here, right behind its ass cheek. And the grenade just goes exploding, showering him with the alchemical phosphorescence that you use. I mean, it's nice that a grenade hit finally. It's great. Well, except it only did nine damage. Hey, nine damage is nine damage. That's enough to murder right. you. That's enough to That's murder like most of your teammates. It's more than enough to murder me. As you just saw, like, a large swath of his back now has blistering weld marks, you know, where metal has slagged and turned into those pretty little rivulets. As he, he looks very, very fragile at the moment with all of his exposed mechanics under that side with his armor now gone. Yeah, and I know because this is rough terrain, I can't mo couldn't move too much farther. Mm -hmm. But it is cover, so, which is nice. Yeah, it is co partial cover. And uh, anything for your bonus action? Um, I don't think I have a bonus action. This is when all of you are going to go for, like, the healer's trait. The feet, so that you I do you know, have bonus action it, stuff. <laughs> is it, oh, see, I've got field alchemy. I've got uh, poisons. Um, I do. I do have some healing stuff, guys. So, but it won't work, unfortunately. On uh, I was gonna say, check out your uh, explosive grenades. Can you make another grenade as a bonus action? That could totally be a thing. I don't know if I can. Hold on. I know these are brand new characters, and you don't have much much on them, you know, much time with them yet. No. So if you look yeah, at look. the. Da, 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 da. Ooh, I oh no, see, because I only I could only pick one. Uh -huh. My next one I might take is a rust bomb. Ooh, that's a good one. Except uh, keep that away from Gunny. Oh, of course I, I would keep like, it oh. away from Gunny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I still see, gotta fight his enemies. So. See, if you look at the very very bottom of your character sheet, it's as an action you can throw a flask. Um, Where? Look at a uh, formula's known. Okay, there's the. Yeah, so it's an action to, to make a new one. I wasn't sure if it was an action or a bonus action. Yeah, no, yeah. because, I mean, it's it's a precise – I can make one in the field because I do have the field alchemy, but it is an active – I mean, it's not like, yeah. you know. Yep. It's so, a process. 
Nice so trade, this though. this Good guy job. is totally gonna try to clear the path. He was gonna slap Gunny and slap Theo with one of its each big muscular robot arms, but instead it's gonna throw all of its you know actions in getting uh, Gunny out of the way because it don't like the fact that Gunny's uh, in its way challenging. Okay, is it my turn? Uh, no, nope, it's uh, its turn. And it's going to go for... Uh, yeah, it's going to go for a slap slap. So will the first slam oh, hit the Gunny yeah. for a 23? <laughs> yeah, for oh, for no. five points of damage, because that plus one is for the natural 20 if he had advantage. So he hits Gunny for five points of damage as you're seeing it. Knuckles just shoots sparks off Gunny's chest. Oh. And okay. then, then it's doing another slam. What? It has two yeah, slams. Yeah, that hits two. As it does oh. eight points to Gunny. Gunny's, Gunny's, Gunny's down. He's as, at a zero. As Gunny goes, and falls down to the ground, deactivated at the moment. Mia oh. just bellows. She's living. <laughs> As this thing does this little boxer's thing where it lifts its hands up in triumph and then is proceeding to follow its command now that it has an opening. And it's going to step over Gunny and squish those corpses and now uh, start walking out the building. It's, it triumphantly just walks out with the. Now that's great. He's got a clearance. The guy's still got to hit there. Yep. As Gunny just makes a sad, sad mechanical fatigued noise. Kind of sound. <laughs> he sacrificed himself to save me. I want more than two, ba- one bag of stuff now. Limit. <laughs> hey, you might even get a free wagon out of this. Just, just saying. <laughs> what a free steam jack out of this. <laughs> so, oh. top of the order, Gunny is down. It's going to be an expensive repair bill. Callus, you're loaded up. You've got a full magazine. Yeah. The st- and the steam Probably. jack seems to have no care other than he's traveling in a straight line. I would yeah, hate yeah. to be anyone on the city streets tonight, because remember it is like midnight, that this steam jack is going to go in a straight line until told to do otherwise. Yep, yep. Um, I don't, I'm not that, and you I don't even want to know what those two bodies there look like now. All right. Not really concerned about the steam jack now that he's through us, but... Um, I'm going to hold action for the first movement that I can shoot. Okay, so the first bad guy that comes into sight? Yep. Basically kind of just watching in that general arc. Oh, as you hear a yelp, by the way, because I had to roll their dex saves, as... uh, this one over here makes a yelp sound as the uh, ricochet shoots through the building and totally reveals her position now. Mia's like, oh, now I can see you? Oof. Now she dies. That bullet rolled max damage. And this guy gives out a yelp as he takes four points of damage, too. Nice. Damn, stray bullets. And Mia's so glad she has not gone one step closer. That's right. <laughs> okay, so you you basically give them all the shush command, and you look down the, the barrel of your rifle ready to shoot the first thing that pops up. Mia, what are you going to do? You know that that little twit is over here who commanded that jack. You know oh, yeah. the second level, there's a guy up here whose blood is dripping between the crack in the uh, walkway above. I'm going to cast uh, Razor Wind. It's my last first level spell on her. On her and over here. I should be able to get to her. One, two, three, four, five, six. I might have to like hit here to shoot it, and then I'll hit back. 
Okay. But, yeah. Go ahead and make your attack. Eighteen. Eighteen will definitely hit her. Yep. Jesus. Is that nineteen points? Is that nineteen points? That's the well. Don't ignore the plus five because it's pretending oh. you rolled a, d a natural twenty on the second roll. But oh. you, it's fourteen points. So what does it look like when this uh, <laughs> gobber? She revealed herself when she got shot in the back by exploding slivers out of the wall and bullets. And uh, she goes, yip, and you cast your razor wind, and it murders her. Like, nice. like, um, in, uh, on, uh, Underworld, where, like, the person, it slices through the head, but they still keep walking, but it just slices, four big slices through her, and she just falls apart. Like when the main character cuts her master apart? Yes. And the little, going, the little bits go plop, plop, plop. Yes. And I just, I just let out a, a huge scream because I live it. This, that was for gunning. So does that mean the, uh, the steam jack stops? Uh, well, it is following its last command. Yeah, but it made the hole. Yeah, it's going to keep running in a straight line. She's not even a good commander. She's Until horrible. someone tells it to stop, now that she's not mind controlling it, someone can command it with, you know, if they have uh, Steam Jack. They can totally tell it to stop now and it might listen. Would that be a bonus action? Uh, it would be an actual action because it's using the skill to uh, proficiency Steam Jacks. Darn. Sorry, I was hoping. Like 20% of this mm. island, by the way, has that skill because they use Steam Jacks for everything. Pretty much all your construction folks have have that ability, just like uh, Mia. But uh, and of course, anyone can try it. It's just that you're not proficient with it. Whoa, there, big boy! The stun. The you want me to try? Give it a go. <laughs> so so Mia gives out a I got her. Right. Yes. Okay, so uh, Theo, you're you're thinking of scrambling after him. Yeah, I'm going to scramble out of your hiding. Yeah, and I'm going to command it to stop. You say, Steam Jack, stop. In the name stress, of stress, love. Stress, 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 stress. As your bard is so, in the background, you know, singing, you know, helpful song. So it's so a 20 plus she, your intelligence. You know, has time around Gunny. Does that give her, she's been around Steam Jack. She's like, you know. See, she, she so knows the one, concept. She just doesn't have any skill to it. One plus my intelligence? Yep, one plus your intelligence. You can okay, totally roll an so. intel save to give you the same type of dice roll. If you're looking for okay. a quick click instead of a yeah. type. One natural 20, natural 20, natural 20. Sorry. As you roll a seven, as you're like, stop! Steam Jack, whose name I do not know. And the steam jack just kind of glances <laughs> back at you and continues. I was hoping we could use him to repair Gunny. Aww. I know, that's what I wanted. I know, that's what I was going for. I'm sorry. That explains it. She said, stop, we're going to strip you for parts. And he looks and <laughs> he, he continues his arm movement of powering forward like a steam drain. I tried, I'm sorry. As uh, at that moment, this goblin falls to pieces. On her turn, yeah. and uh, you you <laughs> sense movement up above as this goblin moves and repositions himself to see what's going on. Thereby, I believe, giving Callus an attack of opportunity if he'd like to attack. Is that within range? Yeah. Well, fifty is the base range, so yeah. So. So disadvantage. Yeah. And so he does have a pistol. My hold action. Guess what? He has a pistol. A pistol. Sheesha. Why are you pointing at me? <laughs> <laughs> because uh, you're the closer with the pistol, so. Alrighty, oh. so let's take a shot at him. As, uh,. Mia looks and sees the little gobber pop out with his little hand cannon, and then all of a sudden Callus just takes the shot. And you got an 11 there, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As uh, you take the shot, but this little guy is quick and nimble and ha 
That's, yeah. that's higher than 11. As he ducks, as he is getting ready to shoot me, and your bullet comes cracking across, he totally ducks. But he is going to take his shot on me. At me? At you, because you're out in the open. Oh, okay. Lucky me. Will a 21 yeah, that hit. hit for three points of damage? Okay. They're sure rolling well. As his little pistol yeah. goes crack, and on her shoulder she gets that, that cock show shoulder shot that hits you in the non-vitals. <laughs> as little blood gets drawn through her armor. Oh, I'm torn. I want the bot, but I want to kill this guy. Oh. And uh, there's totally some uh, noise over here that uh, Theo is totally hearing the whoever's up here scampering towards the window. Yep. Oh, dear. So uh, the big guy is just barreling down the street. As long as there's right, nothing in his way, he is he's continuing down. You're going to hear some crashing shortly and some screams. <laughs> Poor Gunny is making more metal fatigue sound as he's coming to a full rest on the floor. His one hand reaches back towards Mia. Mama. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> top, top, top of the order, all the bullets are ricocheting through. You're hearing some more screams out to the north. But thankfully, all the goblins are now dead that were in the bullet range, so they're not worrying about it. Me is hearing ricochets hitting into the cover here. Callus, what you going to do? All right. Um... <clears throat> So he's at the edge of the rail there, he's that other the, guy? He's at the edge. There are no rails. This is like the Empire. They didn't pay for no rails and stairs. <laughs> no rails to action hero through when you fall off. Alright, so... If I come to... Oops. Come to here. I can Lock. see him. Yep, you can see him. Alright. We're gonna shoot him. You're gonna try, sharpshooter. No. We're gonna shoot him. And just straight shot? No no fancy trick shots. Well, I only already used it on the initial opening failure. Oh, so you're gonna talk to your ammo right. dealer about that. <laughs> Sorry, no right. refunds. No returns. Twenty seven will hit Finally. the shit out of him. Roll for damage. Alright, so as you totally get the Wilhelm scream out of him as he goes flying off the rails and goes splat into the cart. As this little gobber is deader than dead. Oh no, I was shooting this one. Oh, that one's up on the floor above. Yeah, but you, he's you... at the edge of the gray, right? No, no, you yeah, can't see him. He's basically going out the window. Right, but he's. But there's the... no. Okay, you're right. No there, there's stairs no outside there. that window, right? There, there, you're right. There's no. There's not. There's a rope he's throwing out the window. Yeah, so and you I'm can, right near that door. You can see that guy. So he does the Wilhelm scream and falls down deader than dead on the crates. His yeah, little goblin to, body twitching next to next Theo. Next to Theo. <laughs> like she's like, oh, shit. <laughs> His Flat. plan was to totally throw a rope out the window here and escape. Well, that's what his thought was, yeah. As Callus totally looks at Theo, that you, I saved you. Yep. Okay, Just so... Just in case you got froggy. And that's a good place to wrap it up there. Thank you for listening to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition, a member of the Creative Play and Podcast Network. Please follow us on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash cppn to never miss a show or stream. 